there is a key change to strict mode in React 18 and that has to do with mounting your components twice and that is exactly what we will cover in this tutorial, so let's go. Now strict mode is something that has existed in React for quite a while, actually it was introduced way back in React 16. A key thing to note is that it is something that only runs during development and does not impact your production build. In addition to the checks that it already runs, there was always a plan to add additional features as future versions of React were released. And that's exactly what's happened with React 18, which we can see from the React 18 release notes. Previously, irrespective of strict mode, React would mount your component once, but now with React 18 in strict mode, it will mount your component twice. So let's look at a practical example that demonstrates the kind of bug that this is designed to catch. Now strict mode is something that is a part of most application templates. For example, the create react app template wraps our app within strict mode. So let's jump into our app and demo a component that works perfectly well under strict mode. We have this timer that someone else has created and we render that within our app component. This component is designed to render the number of seconds that have passed since this component was loaded. And you can take my word for it or count the seconds yourself that this is working perfectly fine. Now let's jump back to the code and try to create this component ourselves. We bring in a use effect and use state, which are two hooks that we will need for this component. We create this as a function component. We will monitor the number of seconds that have passed as a state variable, which we initialize to zero. And then when the component gets mounted, we will start a set interval in which we will increment the seconds by one after every thousand milliseconds, that is after every second. Finally, we render an h1 containing the text custom followed by the number of seconds that have passed. And then within our app component, we will render this custom timer right after the timer that we previously imported. Now, if we jump to the running application, you will notice something weird. The imported timer is working perfectly as before. However, our custom timer is incrementing the seconds by two in every second. And this is because of that change that React has made to strict mode. To demonstrate that, we can jump into our custom component and whenever the component gets mounted within use effect, we log the statement mounting. And then within use effect, we can actually return a function that will be invoked whenever the component gets unmounted and we log the statement unmounting. So now if we jump to the running application, you can see within the console that our component gets mounted, then unmounted and then mounted again. And this has helped us identify a bug within our custom component. The issue is that we set up a set interval when our component is mounted, but we never clear this interval. So when the component gets mounted again, we have two instances of set interval running, which is resulting in our seconds getting incremented by two in every second. The fix in this particular case is quite simple. We note on the interval whenever we call set interval, and when the component gets unmounted, we use a call to clear interval to clear the interval that we just set up. And this is a well-defined pattern in React. Whenever you set up something within mount, you need to tear it down when you unmount. Otherwise, it result in memory leaks and other issues. And now with this change, our component works exactly as expected. And this is the kind of bug that would not have been identified without this change to strict mode in React 18. And now for my honest opinion about this change. Do I like this change? Yes, React is not our playground. It is Facebook's playground. And it has always had well-defined rules for things that we should and should not do. And cleaning up after ourselves within unmount has always been a well-defined rule. So it's nice that they are providing us with tools to catch that during development instead of shipping bad code to production. Now, if you're interested in learning more about React 18, here is a lesson where we look at a new hook called Use ID that was introduced with React 18. Thank you for joining me. Smash that like and subscribe for more content like this, and I will see you in the next one.